Boston Bros is number one thing not. You're dead wrong. You can catch me doing Miss McKinney with my prodders on. It's real boxing talk every time we meet with Ned, the TBE, and Conspiracy G. We bring it to you raw, on bias. You know the deal. You can even get a poor dealie here from Dollar Bill with my guys by my side. You know we going live. All we need you to do is please like and subscribe. Boxing Bros. Peace. The next uh, topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros are comments uh, Tyson Fury, Fury made, mainly about how the excuses that Deontay Wilder made uh, made Tyson Fury feel about him and about Deontay Wilder's career. So uh, let's set it up. Okay. This is already starting. So let's play it right Really, you know, it captured the attention of the boxing world, the sports world. And then uh, for him to kind of um, react to the loss in the manner in which he did, has it kind of soured the experience? Yeah. Or is it well, it spoiled the way that I look at him as a man. Like to make a million excuses after a fight, after you've lost to somebody, it's, it's unsportsmanlike conduct. If he'd have beat me in the same manner or any manner, I'd have put my hand out, shook his hand and said, fair play, I've lost to a better man on the night, good luck and God bless you. And that's the difference in men. If somebody beats me, and I've been travelling the world for 13 years to find somebody to beat me, and I haven't found him yet. If there is somebody out there to beat me, I'll shake his hand. Because if he can beat me, he's a good boxer, he's a good man. Fair play, good luck to him, God bless him. Are you disappointed with, I mean, you guys had two great fights. But Deontay Wilder clearly doesn't have that same mindset. And because he's lost, there's got to be X, Y, and Z reasons why he lost. And I believe it's mostly because he's got what I call a lot of ass kisses in his training camp. Everyone's afraid to upset him. So when they're all yes men, you can never get the truth. You can never fear, you can never get someone's honest opinion because they're too scared of losing the job or losing their status or whatever. So it is what it is with Wilder. He's absolutely disappointed me as a man. And I feel sorry for him. And I hope he comes back and, and fights again because I'd love to give him another idea, a good idea, an even better one than the first time. But I can't see him coming back. I think even if he does come back, I think he's finished because the bubble's been burst and people are not afraid of him anymore. Yeah. But Deontay Wilder clearly. So there you have it. Um, and that footage is from uh, ESPN, um, their uh, Instagram account. So. Um, Trill Dollar Bill, man, you heard from Tyson Fury basically said it spoiled the hit Deontay Wilder making excuses. It spoiled the way he looks at him. Um, he said that he feels like he has too many yes men in his camp. And he says that basically if Deontay Wilder does come back, he thinks he's finished because the bubble's been burst and nobody's going to be afraid of him. So what is your thoughts on Tyson Fury's comments? Been watching boxing, bros. It seems like Tyson Fury is just co-signing everything we said. Um, yeah, everything. Check. Check. <laughs> Check. You know what I'm saying? You're going to ask me, uh, what is it, A, B, C, or D? I'm going to say D, all of the above. I totally agree with you, Tyson Fury. Um, Deontay Wilder, he, lo he left a sour taste in everybody's mouth, you know? Um, and this is what I'm not going to do, right? I'm done with, 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 um, with beating up on Deontay Wilder. I'm done with it, right? He did the damage to himself, okay? There's nothing more that I can say that he has already done did himself, right? Um, is he, the question is, is he finished? Everything else I agree. The bubble's been burst. Yeah, I, I believe that the whole invincible shell is gone. Will we see him again for another check? Um, yes. I believe we will see Deontay Wilder again for another check. Um, he's still going to be a, a name that people is going to want to see. You know, he only got that one loss and he's been hyped up to be what he was. So people are still going to want to get a chance to, to fight uh, a Deontay Wilder. So they could be the number one to give him another loss. And there's still going to be a possibility for him to go out there and collect some chess because he's still a name, you know. But um, that whole invincibility of him, it, that's, that's gone. That bubble has been burst. Um, is he – what else did Tyson feel? The, the sour taste he did – 
listen, we already know that the thing, right, um, that makes us us men is right is your your ability to admit when you're wrong, right? Or even when you lost, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I came come from, right, it wasn't I didn't win every fight. I'm not gonna sit here on this panel and make it seem like Trill was Hercules. I was knocking out everybody. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't lost fights, you know? Um, but people respected me for saying, like, hey, you got that one. You know what I'm saying? And they respect you for fighting because they know you live to fight another day. You know what I'm saying? You live to fight another day. Um, you're not going to win them all. But it's how you conduct yourself afterwards is how people are going to look at you. You know? Um, you didn't go out on your shield. You had a lot of things going. Then you came with the excuses and the excuses. That's is that's the main thing. That's what has everybody on the hate Wilder train. Yeah, we knew you was hyped up before that. But the excuses, the excuses made it worse. Even I had your back. I had your back. I was blaming everybody else for this. I said it was the 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 wild debts, the L uh, guys. I was saying it was everybody else. Then you did a video. <laughs> you, know <what> I'm <laughs> you did a video saying all this bull crap from your mouth, and it was just hard for people to digest. Um, Wilder, poor Wilder, because now. People are going to tune in to, to, to see you. You can get a bag, but I think that nobody is scared of you. None of these fighters are scared of you now, and they're just going to come at you right now. To you, everybody's licking their chops. They can't wait. You got everybody's going to be disrespecting you now. They don't They don't fear nothing. That's all I got to say about that situation. Sorry to keep babbling on. I just, everything Tyson Fury said was spot on, and Deontay Wilder, you did it to yourself, man. You did it to yourself. I don't even want to bash you, bro, but you did it to yourself. All right. Kaspira G. I actually agree with like 1,000% with Trill on this one. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a Wilder uh, supporter, you know, but I couldn't defend these excuses. It was kind of like outrageous, you know. Um, but low key, I have to be honest. I'm actually happy this happened to Wilder. Because then now we get to see them fights and we get to see Wilder now having to prove himself with top notch competition. You know, he Are can't you? hide no more. I'm being honest, he just, he can't fight the no, the no names anymore. Now he has to fight elite level competition. And now he can prove to the world if he's really a champion or not. So, low key, I actually, I'm, I'm grateful that this situation happened to Wilder, right? Now, in regards to when Tyson Fury said he has a lot of yes men and, 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 and uh, what's he say, uh, eight kisses in his camp, I believe that's true, you know? And you can see that by, uh, you know, Mark was talking about how this dude isn't doing anything in training camp, but, you know, sparring and occasionally hitting the mitts, right? He doesn't hit the bags. He doesn't run. He doesn't do a lot of things. And you're like, man. And then when he was talking about how, like, uh, what's the dude, JD's, would be like, hey, um, you know, don't get on Wilder's nerves because if you do, you know, he's going to start firing people and stuff. So I'm like, so, <laughs> <laughs> and, so that means Wilder's a deal, right? And, you know, it's weird because, you know, I've been around so many, like, people that have, like, A1 personalities, right, where it's kind of like, the world has to like revolve around them, right? But while they kind of took it to a whole nother level, like with the whole King talk, right? And I'm like, you know what? You got to blame the fans. So we let this rock. Even after he lost, I seen him in an interview with, um, what's those two, um, the twins? Um, damn. Oh, wow. the watching, the watching twins. Yeah. They got a podcast. Wild was just recently on there. And they were still calling him King. I'm like, yo, y'all got to stop doing that, bro. Like, he's not going to learn until people go like, fam, you lost. Like, you got to get back in the training camp, watch the tapes, pick up some new skills. And if he's not willing to do that, then, yeah, Tyson Fury may be correct. It may be, like, over for your boy. 
But I like to believe that uh, Wilder wants to step up to the competition. Everyone is looking at him like he is food right now. So it's either sink or swim for Wilder. But I actually appreciate that because there was a, a mythical allure about his right hand, right? But then, you know, Fury in part one and part two show that, hey, I could take that punch. So maybe other guys are now more confident, like, I could take that punch. All I got to do is bring the pressure, you know, get up on them. And dudes are going to now have that confidence. Beforehand, you could tell dudes walk in the ring kind of scared, like, 10 minutes. I remember Brazil. This dude, Brazil had beef with this guy, like, family beef, like, wives and children involved. And he came in that ring shook to death. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think even after what Brazil just got um, body bagged the other day, that Brazil is more confident in a rematch with Wilder right now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Wilder, man, this is time to show and prove, bro. So, yeah, so I, I can't I can't even um, disagree with, with Tyson Fury or with Trill. Like, I actually agree with both gentlemen. TVE. Listen, I agree 100% with Tyson Fury. First of all, I want to say, Wilder, you're good at the right hand. You're not great at it. You know? Second, I want to say, you did put Tyson Fury on his butt twice. Well, you knocked him twice in the first match. And I don't know what happened, but you lost all your confidence and credibility after the second fight because of your antics and your shenanigans. Third, I just want to say, you're finished, you're done, and you're having your final days in the sun. So, (laughs) (laughs) I I would like to see you come back, but I just don't see what you could do at this point. You didn't improve. You had so much time from the first fight with Fury to improve your game, you had two fights between that to work on your craft and you did not do anything. And I cannot see you doing anything more. And it's just- well, hey, Don't you think after a loss, you're more willing to now, you know, switch up some things and you can't switch up some things and you're- Not you hired Malik Scott. <laughs> 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 Get him there. Now when you Get hire Malik Scott, how are you <laughs> for- Decisions in your your, your 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 um your training camp, it just it doesn't. I don't see how how you could go from trash to garbage. You get me? Well, I can see that, but I don't see how you could go from. So are you saying Mark Brennan was trash? No, I'm just saying Wilder was trash. <laughs> you get me? I can I don't see how you could go from trash. To uh, trash can, maybe, maybe, but you know, that's all I'm saying. It's 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 over. It's done. He <laughs> he put the fork in himself when he came out with that video, <laughs> and that is it. Your man is finished. Your man is finished. He was he was the loudest in the room at the time, and the loudest has they ex- escorted him out. They escorted him out. That's all I got to say. So there are a few things with what Tyson Fury is saying. And one of the things is the excuses spoiled the way he looked at Deontay Wilder. And I can understand that because when you look at Tyson Fury in the first fight, he came to America. I had him winning the fight on my scorecard by um, one point. And the majority of people who watched the fight scored it for Tyson Fury. So a lot of people felt like Tyson Fury won. Now, Deontay Wilder got the draw. And although I had um, Tyson Fury winning, I never said it was robbery because I said what I said. If you, if you, I I gave the first round to Deontay Wilder. So that's why I had um, the fight uh, Fury winning by one round. Some people may have given the first round to Fury. That's why their scores wider. But for me, if someone gave round or Wilder a swing round, then they have it a draw. So I, so it is what it is, right? I'm not saying it's robbery, but on my card, I scored it for Fury. But Fury, Fury took it like a gentleman. Fury said, hey, felt like I won. I'm okay with the draw, right? Then Fury went 
and had two fights, two stay active fights. And all the while, the, I remember, oh, Fury's running. Fury's afraid. Fury's running, right? Fury goes in there. Wilder, before the fight, says Fury has pillows his fists. If Fury knocks me out, I'll retire. He said all these things. So remember, he's the one creating the venom that came his way when he got stopped. He's the one who set up all that. He said Fury got pillow fists. He said that if Fury knocks him out, he will retire. No one said that. He said that. Then not only does he lose, but his corner throws in the tower. That's a psychological win or, you know, psychological blow that's hard to handle for someone like Deontay Wilder, whose ego's in the clouds. Because his corner threw in the tower, that means like, you know, the stigma behind throwing in the towel. Throwing in the towel is like, yo, we got to save you from being murdered. That's like, you know, that's the whole, like, you know, Apollo Creed, Rocky scene, and everyone, like, the worst thing you could do is throw in a towel in boxing. We all know that, right? That's how he lost to Fury. That's how you lost to the Pillow Fist guy, in the worst way you could possibly lose. So his ego's hurt. So instead of just saying, I was on my feet, I couldn't control the fact that Brillin threw in a towel. I disagree with that. I was fine. If you watch the fight, I look at Bayless. When he says that the fight stopped, I contest. I believe in my right hand. I think I can knock anyone out. I've been losing fights before where the right hand bailed me out. I was. I felt like I was going to do it again. Instead of just saying that and moving on, he says, spike water, egg-shaped weight in the gloves, you know what I'm saying? Like Kenny Bayless was against them. The whole everyone was against them. Remember, he, first he said the suit was too heavy. It was too heavy. There's too many excuses to keep up with when it comes to Wilder. You know, he also said he had an autopsy. But anyways, like the, the point I, the point I'm making is when you stop making all those excuses, and this is why Fury says he's finished. When you stop making all those excuses, it sends a signal to all the other competitors, all the other athletes, all the other fighters that you can't handle what happened to you. You can't accept what happened to you. You are so effed up, you're making every excuse, even the most unbelievable excuses. You're saying that an assault and battery took place. You're saying the stuff that Luis Resto went to jail for happened to you. You're saying that the Nevada State Athletic Commission was conspiring against you. You're saying that the referee, Kenny, Kenny Bellis, was conspiring against you. You're saying that Mark Brillen was uh, conspiring against you. You're, you're making all these allegations, and all the other fighters are looking at you like, this dude's a coward. This dude's a chump. Because they're like, he can't handle the loss. He can't handle the loss. So now that they know you can't accept the loss, the next guy who gets in the ring with you is going to be very confident. He's going to be empowered because he feels like, yo, all I got to do is keep the pressure on this guy and he'll wilt because you see the way he, he responded to the loss. He can't handle this. He can't handle this. So now you're seen as a front runner. That's the, that's the impression everyone got now is you're a front runner. When things are going well, oh, yeah, you 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 that guy, you that dude. But when it gets a little rough, you can't accept it. You can't handle it. You make up stuff. You, 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 you fabricate. You exaggerate, right? So now dudes are looking at you like a punk. And that's what Fury's getting at when he says you're finished. Anyone saying that my water was spiked, this person did this, everyone's like, oh, let me get him. Let me get him. See, real fighters since the beginning of time feel like if you got me, I'm going to get you back. He got me. I got to get him. That's the way it is. That's how Fury did you. <laughs> that's how Fury did you. That's what Joshua did with Ruiz. That's what, that's what you do. He got me. How did I lose? You study. You come back. You work harder. You, be, you get better. That's what you do. And all these things that you're saying is just telling everyone that you're not a fighter. In the simplest form, 
in its simplest form, the way Deontay Wilder reacted to the loss showed the world he's not a fighter. And what I mean by that doesn't mean he won't get in the ring. Doesn't mean he won't knock you out. When he's the front runner, when he's the guy, when he hurts you, when he had you, he's the man. But when it doesn't go his way, that's when the problems start. So I agree with Fury 100%. Not that he's finished, but he needs to prove that he's not. And until he proves that he's not, everyone's going to see him as finished. I even see him as finished because he needs to prove that he can psychologically recover from the beating and the nonsense that he spread in the atmosphere. And until he does that, everyone's going to view him as finished. Please let us know how you feel in the comment section and please check us out on Instagram and Twitter and please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the boxing bros. Man up, Deontay. Paper champion.